Okay, we're inside the garage. And you see holes like this? There's only one reason for these systematic holes of this size around going alongside walls. The only reason for those holes is to apply product. That's code for poison. And that poison, its target is subterranean termites. That's not foundation repair, that's not plumbing repair. The only reason when you have holes like this is to treat your subterranean termites. So we know that this structure has been treated at least once for subterranean termites. We do not know who treated it, we do not know when it was treated, and we do not know what it was treated with, but we do know that it was treated. Now, every termite treatment, in theory, is supposed to be lifetime treatment. According to the product, the poison, the label, the label on the product, just like when you buy, you know, children's aspirin in the store, it has a label. And that's the law. You're supposed to follow that. You don't feed the aspirin to your children differently than on the label. Now, around the perimeter here, you can see some water stains. It's called a hydro shark. That's what it's called. And I am, you can't see this. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess I can. Let's see if I can do this. All right, just the moisture on my hands. Yeah, my hands are dry. This is about to know the sensitivity. We have water stains here. Let's look at that. Take the hydro shark, put it right in there, push the pins in. No noise. Now, this gap underneath the pedestrian door to the exterior doesn't have a threshold. It's obvious that water's gotten in here and done water damage. And we've had some recent rains and snows even. We'll just come over here, take our trusty hydro shark. That tells us we got some wetness. How about that? Right there in that? Okay. Got any up here? No, we don't have any up here. All right. Well, let's look at this spot. The spot? The spot. Can you see that? Is the camera picking it up? I got a still image of it. It's right here underneath the electric service panel. Back to the left of it, right in here. It's pretty high right there. Let's see if we can get up here. Wet. Not wet. Wet. Not wet. Wet, wet. What's happening here? What's happening here? What can we learn? We learned that we got negative drainage. We learned that we got high soil and the water is leaching up into the wall. Right there. That's conducive to wood destroying insects. That's conducive to termites. Over here, we know that we don't have a threshold, but let's just look outside, see what else we got going. Inquiring minds want to know. The hydro shark demands answers. That's not high soil. This is windblown rain. That's what I'm thinking. That would be the most logical assumption. So we learned that we've got two wet spots in our garage. We learned that we don't have threshold plate. And we'll learn about this door later, or sooner, or later. We learned that the moisture's coming in here has done some damage and is continuing to do damage. What's this one like? Oh, we've got water damage all the way over here. That's kind of interesting. There's a garden hose laying right there. I wonder what that's about. Looks like we lost some wall over here at one time. We wonder we got this big nice stain right here. That's just really, really wet. We learned this wall is wet. 